Turning our attention now to the ASX, here's Matt Burney and Bulls and Bears with the latest public company views and interviews. Welcome to Bulls and Bears, where we break down the latest ASX announcements from public companies that are doing interesting things. Today's Bulls and Bears is brought to you by Kairos Minerals, ASX code KAI. I'm Matt Burney and I'm joined now by the Executive Chairman of Kairos Minerals, Terry Topping. Hi, Terry. Hi, Matt. Kairos Minerals now holds over a 1,000 square kilometres of prospective ground across multiple prospects in the Pilbara, including its flagship Mount York Gold prospect and the Skywell prospect where geophysical work recently defined multiple intrusive style geological targets that look to be similar to Grey Mining's spectacular Hemi discovery just 70 kilometres away. In recent weeks, however, it has been Kairos's nickel sulphide and gold target southeast of Kalgoorlie at Rowe Hills that has stolen the show. Firstly, Terry, it looks like you may have hit nickel sulphides at Rowe Hills. Uh, what's the expectation exploration program out there looking like? Yeah, it's looking good, Matt. Just finished up there where we were targeting an area where we'd hit one metre at three and a half percent nickel in nickel sulphides in the past at an area called Talc Lake. And we've, you know, really had a go at that area and got uh, a similar sort of intersection there now. So it's a great start. And you're waiting on the assays for that project, are you? Yeah, all the programs done, all the uh, assays are at the lab, so we're waiting on them. There's like a four to six week turnaround at the moment. And your Black Cat prospect is also looking interesting. Just how big is that target at Black Cat and what are your most important observations there? Yeah, Black Cat's about six to 800 metres long. We went there as a gold in soil target, but when we did the first early drilling and we've just done six holes, we've hit six zones of what look like VMS sulphide. Uh, so a very interesting sort of horizon, which will really warrant some further work. Okay, so you've finished drilling down that way for now. Results are pending. Where's the drill rig off to next? Yeah, so the rig left there and went up to the Pilbara. So we had the Oz drill rig at Mount York, where we've already got 873,000 ounces. And it was joined this week by another rig. So we've got two RC rigs working away up there. And that's in the Pilbara, right? Yeah, all up in the Pilbara, about 90 kilometres south of Port Hedland. Now, tell me about these intrusives you've identified at the Sky Well Prospect up in the Pilbara. Uh, just how similar are they to the grey massive Hemi intrusive discovery? Yeah, the Hemi discovery is adjacent to a, a large intrusion, and these are filtered through the Pilbara. There's a lot of geolog survey mapping, you know, the government mapping sort of has uh, put them through the Pilbara, and we've got quite a lot of that intrusive at Sky Well, so that's a real focus for us. Mm, I know that the term intrusive is uh, a bit of a catch cry at the moment after De Grey uh, hit that intrusive, and Lefroy have hit a decent intrusive around Cambelda, and Chalice Mining have hit an intrusive, so uh, it'll be fascinating to see the results of your exploration up there. There. Uh, Terry Topping from Kairos Minerals. Thanks for joining me today. And remember, Bulls and Bears is only here to give you information, not advice, which you should, of course, seek independently. I'm Matt Burney, and this is Bulls and Bears. For more public company CEO interviews, go to the money page at 6pr.com.au and click the public companies tab.